Hello, calculus fans. Okay, let's write down the most general antiderivative of f of x equals 1 over x. Now, actually, we learned earlier that the derivative of log of x is equal to 1 over x. Now, what we haven't discussed is that you can extend this to a larger domain. So, in fact, the derivative of the log of absolute value of x is equal to 1 over x. If you go back into the section about the log functions, the book has a discussion about the fact that the derivative of the log of absolute value of x is equal to 1 over x. We haven't used that until now. So, in fact, you should know that log of absolute value of x plus c is the general antiderivative of 1 over x. And as long as you do that on any interval that can, doesn't contain 0, it all works out fine. Since 1 over x isn't defined at 0, then you wouldn't want to do anything on an interval that contains 0. Okay, that's all for now.